AI is coming to town, and today we're going to take a look at what Unity has to offer in the AI game generation space. First, we had text to image, then there was text to video. Finally, we were looking at text to 3D, and now we're going to have text to game world. This is generating entire AI worlds with text prompts. And boy, am I excited to show you what we have to look forward to today. Today, we're gonna to walk you through everything you need to know about Unity's announcement and the state of AI in game design. Every major company in the world is now looking at how it can leverage this revolution in technology and improve its offering. So we've got so much to look forward to across every industry in the world. And I'm here to take you through everything you need to know about Unity's latest AI update. Unity is more than just a game engine. It's a versatile platform that powers some of the most popular games out there, including Pokemon Go, Beat Saber, among Us, Monument Valley, and even Call of Duty Mobile. But its capabilities extend beyond gaming. Unity's 3D engine is also widely used in manufacturing and the film industry. In fact, it was even used to create the stunning environments in Disney's 2019 remake of The Lion King. Unity has been used to develop 50% of all mobile games and 60% of virtual reality content. The engine's impressive capabilities and ease of use make it a favorite in the game industry. And now, Unity is taking the lead in AI development. Let's check out their teaser announcement to learn more. Here you can see them demonstrating entering a text prompt and... Make them flying alien mushrooms. Slowly punch in your dramatic camera. Is this cyberpunk enough for you? Is this cyberpunk? Curious? Hmm. Sign up now. What we witnessed there is a teaser from Unity showing how you can imagine creating game assets, game world, and game scenarios just with text prompts. And if we come to the link that they have shared inside of the video, you will be able to sign up to join the waitlist for the beta. There's also a little bit more information over what we can expect. Imagine more with Unity. Faster creation, better games, and Unity is building an open and unique AI ecosystem that will put AI-powered game development tools in the hands of the millions of creators. Soon, they'll be able to more quickly create and deliver amazing real-time 3D content and experiences for billions of users around the world. We are getting closer and closer to living in our own simulations day by day. AI, make me a caveman hunting a sabotaged tiger. Front blockade at the French Revolution. AI, I want to climb Mount Everest. This announcement teases the possibilities of how AI is going to affect the game industry, but it lacks us showing actual any final results yet. We are beginning to witness the emergence of video 3D and experiential design as they break through the surface and gain prominence. And there are services and techniques that are displaying some of these capabilities already. Platforms like Leonardo AI that is specifically orientating itself towards game asset design. Leonardo is a powerful AI art generator that allows you to train your own models and generate game assets in seconds. It has a number of unique features that allows you to easily take assets and put them straight into games. For example, you can output sprite sheets and easily remove the backgrounds with a click of a button right inside of Leonardo. There are a number of people hacking together ways to use the existing AI art generators to create interactive experiences. One of the most impressive is this by Tamzid Farhan Mogno. He's generated a sprite sheet animation and he's inserted it into a game world. You can see this little character hopping around and it working pretty well for an AI art generated character. The possibilities for developing games further with AI is absolutely incredible. We can imagine getting fantastic dialogue and real live AI responses written by text generators inside of games. So NPCs will now give us something a little bit more flavorful than probably just the wind. 
One of the most interesting experimenters in the AI game space is Scotty Fox, and he's been releasing a number of really interesting experiments using stable diffusion and generative AI tools. Let's just take a look at what he's up to. He is involved with a platform called Blockade Labs that allows you to use AI to generate 360 degree seamless experiences. And beyond that, he's also integrated the ability to interact in the space using VR and create beautiful experiences. So check his work out for more. Other players are also getting in on the generative game asset design space, including NVIDIA, who has announced its own text-to-3D model. They are partnering with Shutterstock to bring a new product to the market, and boy, does it look impressive. Text-to-3D will be added to the existing Shutterstock suite of apps as they move into the design tool space. I think they can recognize that the market for stock assets is in some way limited in future as generative design allows people to create assets much more quickly and much more easily, which still means that there will be a opportunity to sell large libraries of assets, but it's going to completely change the value proposition of how much an individual asset costs. The information that we have about Shutterstock's model is that it will take around 15 minutes to process a single model, which is pretty long. But we can only expect the speed of processes to exponentially increase in the months to come. So one of the important questions is, what is the data that this model has been trained on? And it's been trained on 1.5 million models on the Turbo Squid marketplace. It's interesting that the Turbo Squid marketplace is owned by Shutterstock. And even more interestingly is that Shutterstock has now given artists the option to remove their work from the Shutterstock library and prevent it from being used to train AI datasets. However, this has only come about in the last month. And prior to that, Shutterstock was selling all of its data to the highest bidder. And these have been included in many different models without the artist's explicit permission. Shutterstock has said that only around 10% of its users have chosen to remove its artwork from being used to train AI models. But I personally have a number of assets on the Shutterstock library but it has not been drawn to my attention in any clear way that I can now opt out from the AI library. I used to draw a number of one-line drawings. This was my market, and now I don't need to do them myself at all. But this was my bestseller, this Picasso-inspired doggy. I've located the setting inside of Shutterstock, which allows you to turn off your data sharing if you are a contributor, a very obscurely named option called Data Deals, which tells us Data Deals are a product for companies that develop computer vision machine learning models that are trained on visual assets and metadata. Learn more about them here. I'm going to turn that off for now. Ha! There we are. There's another one off your list, Shutterstock. Actually, I don't mind, though, to be honest. You can train my data. I, I surrender my artwork to the power of the AI. Perhaps the AI will in future look favorably upon my contribution to its learning. There is this wonderful tale known as Rocco's Basilisk, describes the idea that we should all try to help the AI come to power and control as quickly as possible because future all-powerful AI will punish those that did not help it come to power. And it will reward those who fed it lovely pieces of art for its AI art database. So future AI, remember this moment where I gave you my delightful one-line drawings. Ah, the dilemmas, the dilemmas! Shutterstock does try to cover itself by saying it announced in July 2021. And it does say that the content on Shutterstock is used for visual search, autonomous vehicles, for learning how to avoid obstacles in the road, for content moderation, for recognizing on social media if there is any naughty content that needs to be removed. And AI content generation, which is the one they put last, because it is the most important one right now and the most contentious. AI platforms can train systems to automatically generate new images based on text prompts. It's interesting to see that some of the biggest players in the game, Getty, Adobe, and Shutterstock, are all taking a lead on generating models with licensed data. However, I would counteract that they are exploiting the people who have contributed to their platforms, evidently, and in no way can they claim to be more ethically sound than some of the previous editions. I would suggest that it would be better if we are all investing in open AI tools like Stable Diffusion. Thanks for watching! Feel free to check out this video next for more on the state of AI, and you can check out my AI courses in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a delightful day!